pot in here or is it just me tuning in to hear these three chatting about fantasy novels of the spicy variety not your average book club if you know what i mean are you happy to see us or is that a dagger it's feast she Guess what we're talking about tonight? What? You tell me, Rachel. Empire of Storms by Sarah J. Mass. And you love her how much? <laughs> this Benny. A- objectively <laughs> do I, bad. Do I? You know, this one was better than the last okay, one. Okay, so, and that's all we're going to talk about. Mm hmm. Um, Rachel, start us off with you like a lead and Lorcan. Yes, I do like tell a lead me why. and Lorcan. Um, cause that's what I usually like is the brooding, the dude. brooding fucking and the seven very foot smart, tall. very with it, very like nothing gets past her. Yeah. Easily. She can manipulate anyone in the room. Yeah. I like Elite. Yeah. Elite's great. Yeah. Love them. They're my favorite couple. Yeah. Well, okay. They're in my top five. <laughs> okay, sorry. There's They're only like, there are only five. You couples. can have more than we can put them in favorites. order. That's actually a fun exercise. Okay. <laughs> so I guess we'll start there. Okay. Since this this book is a lot about a lot about relationships. Yeah. We've got mm-hmm. several couplings happening. Mm-hmm. Um. So finally what, having coupling at all. We get our first spicy scene that is one and a half uh, peppers. Yeah. Yeah. One and a half. A pepper at all, though, is good. A like, pepper at all. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Happy so peppers have entered the conversation. We merge from teeny bopper to adult. Mm-hmm. Um, is this the book that Lorcan, just so that full, full full transparency, I've read this book, but my reread stopped at part two because I didn't mm-hmm. have time. It's been a really busy season of my life. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> but I've read this book before. But did Lorcan and the lead? Bang in this one? No. no. Okay, cool. Okay, okay, okay. I was like, please don't let me miss that part. Because no, no, but we they covered have, periods, we have to talk about that next time. Which is really interesting. They, they per do cycle. Co- yep, yes. per cycle. Yeah. yeah. We've covered cycles. Um, Aelin gets sand in her yoni. Um, do they talk about it though? Because I <laughs> no. wanted to bring that up. No, they just have wonderful romantic sex on the beach. That is not how the beach beach sex works. <laughs> Yeah, it's I'm sorry. It's very distracting no. to me. I'm so, so I yeah. hope that shield, I'm just thinking, I hope his shield of protection is underneath them too because mm. beach that sex also is acts, not great. Act, well, she does acts turn as, the sand to glass. Yeah, but I hope Ouch. it acts, acts, asks, acts as a like lubricant. <laughs> that too. Yeah. Because there's nothing fun about sex in the water. No, there's no. absolutely nothing fun about sex and salt water. No, so I no. think what we need to just have grace for is that Faye not only have multiple <laughs> sexual orgasms, organs that yeah, orgasm that they are also immune to sand and seawater, yeah, and sea creatures. <laughs> I mean. I love the idea of sex in water yeah. and the ocean, yeah. but realistically, this is why I don't get in hot tubs. Because all I think of is like, especially because she's like fiery. Yeah. So she's just this like I wonder boiling. if she gets a lot of yeast infections. Because of the warmth. <laughs> well, she, the heat probably burns away her. Yeah. She doesn't even need natural flora. Is that yeah. right? Yeah. Flora, flora, fauna, fauna is creatures. Yes. Oh my god, you look like a cyclops right now because I can You're only welcome. see one of your eyes. What? I'm not moving the microphone. Can I see your beautiful eyes? No, wait, like can you just move it like maybe like a centimeter? Okay. That better. Yeah, now I can see your face. Yeah, you're welcome. I really wish you could have seen that angle. I'm gonna take a picture. Please don't. It's fine. <laughs> not now, but maybe later. <laughs> okay. But circling back, relationships. Yeah. Sex so, on the beach. Not sex a good on the thing. beach. But who's your favorite couple? If you put your couple, if you put the couples in order, what's your order? Dorian Manon, okay, number one. Lorcan Elite, a close second. Oh, I feel bad now. Aelin and Rowan are number three, but that's okay. That's how I feel. Yeah, that's okay. It's because they're so solidly together, and now they're married. Adian and mm-hmm. Lysandra. 
there's like a hint of something going on in this book. And yeah. he's all like, I'm not going to go there with her. You know, she's got trauma. <laughs> okay, Adian. Okay. okay. <laughs> Whore of Ardalan. Ardalan. Yeah. Otterland. 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 <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Otterland. Yeah. Um, yeah, so they're going to just, there's a lot going on with them right now, so they can't be too high on the list. Yeah. Who How am I missing? Uh, well, I think uh, that's We're it. missing Kale because he's away. And- but yeah. we can't talk about yeah, it. Yeah, we won't talk about no. that. And then there's the other badass couple, which is me. Mm hmm. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, that's a good which one. Is, whisper, whisper. Uh, yeah. Whisper, whisper. Uh, yeah. How about you? I really like Lurkin in the lead. That's top, top. Love them. Yeah. So I love the I'm in love with you against my will. Like, mm-hmm. And I don't know that that's forced, love. What's it called? Forced uh, vicinity? Forced, forced proximity. Forced vicinity. Yeah, it's very much forced <laughs> proximity. Like, I've yeah. had to keep traveling with you, and I keep telling myself it's because I'm using you, but really, I could have mm-hmm. left a long time ago, and I just haven't, because I really kind of like you, and I don't yeah. know how to say it. He goes, okay, so I thought you might be really... Th- it, when I read this part, I was like, oh, this is definitely why Rachel likes him. But he goes, you're really young, and I'm really old. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, I, I bet Rachel loves the acknowledgement you of are the very age young. gap. Yes. You are very young. Yeah, let's and talk about that. very old. <laughs> right. I'm 500 years old. Right. And you are 20. An infant. You yeah. are 20 years old. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, I think I... Dorian isn't my favorite, but Manon is, and I love the, like, darkness of their connection. Mm-hmm. Mm. So I think that they take the top for me in this series, just because I love how, like, dark. They're kinky. They They're just kinky so fucking kinky. <laughs> um, I love those extra arms, those magic yes. arms. Yeah. It just would make really great, um, makes a great story, as well as all of the... Um, Fan art is pretty cool. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Really, really raunchy. Had to put it in my <laughs> hidden folder. Um, so that the kids put don't that have... in the spank bank. Yeah. <laughs> that's in the hidden spank bank folder. <laughs> so that the kids don't open it up and see it. Um, but I think... I, I like Rowan and Aelin. I think... But I like Elite and Lurkin. So I think mine is about yeah. where yours is. But I think with most main characters, you kind of just... Because I guess you don't have as much of the secondary plot, you crave them more yeah yeah so writer's corner what do you think of the writing for this one this one was better probably because she had a lot more to go through so we hopped around quite a bit Mm -hmm. and you think that works for you it worked the build-up of everybody coming together knowing everyone's effectively heading in the same direction worked Mm -hmm. really well okay yeah yeah the yeah, beginning like, was a little, it floundered a little at the beginning because we had to get everybody in motion. Right. So we had to get everybody, everybody's out of rift hold, but we had to get everybody back on track and doing shit. Yeah. So and like around. Aelin had to go and cleanse that temple for for reasons which we don't find out for the next 17 to 25 chapters. Right. Very slow. Yeah. That gets a little, I mean, that does get a little old. The, That's like, just, and I always just, have an ulterior motive. It's like intentionally manipulative yeah. because you know, like, you just have to sit on it. You just have to, like, sit on your hands and wait yeah. for the questions and the answers, which is in what I think, if you zoom way out of all of her books, is really, really smart because you know what happens? You get thousands and thousands of women or humans talking on TikTok about how tiny little details matter because tiny little details matter. Mm -hmm. So in some ways it's frustrating and in other ways it's like this is why people are constantly making podcasts and and TikToks about, well, what if? Yeah. Well, I mean, what I, get, if? I do get it. It just, some things didn't need to stay hidden and we kept them hidden. Sure. And after a while, it gets like, okay, well, why are we actually here? Right. Like, I know this isn't why we're, whatever reason you've stated isn't true because you do the same thing over and over and over again. And I always get frustrated with how angry she gets at Elena. I get Elena isn't. I was just, that was the last thing I listened to in the car, and I agree. I do not like her snap. It does not make sense. And you know why it bothers me? Because I don't like to, I don't, I'm a girl's girl, and I don't talk to women that way. Right. She has no reason. If it was a dumbass dude, maybe. But you're, that's a woman. And for me, you respect each other. 
Yeah, she made one mistake. She's been paying for it for thousands of years. And she literally saved, in purgatory. She saved your life and gave up the chance to see any of her loved ones ever again because she doesn't get to go to the afterlife. She just disappears. I agree. And she's like, I hate that bitch. Yeah, I just hate that bitch. I agree. And I don't think that that I in this book, that is a Selena trait, not an alien trait. So I actually think that that is a poor decision. Yeah. For her to treat Elena with that sharpness and that attitude. Right. Because, yeah. And she spends so much time yelling at her to just get out with it that Elena doesn't have time to talk. Mm -hmm. Like, if you just let the woman talk, yeah. she would probably have already told you. But instead, you're like, oh, are you going to do your, like, ghost thing where you, like, don't tell me what's going on again? Like, again? Yeah. <laughs> like, that's real fucking rich, Aiden. Yeah. 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 And, yeah. and that's why I think it that is a little bit out of place in this book. I Like, we're past that person. Right. Mm -hmm. That was... That Selena. was Selena. Yeah. And that's what doesn't really, it doesn't really compute. No. I like her irreverence in general, you know, and I like her well, blah, 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 especially with like the Ilkin, you know, how the Ilkin comes and she's like, oh, another talker, you know, like, yeah. that's fine and all. But, but not just, with women that are on your team. Yeah. Right. Like, where is this coming? Where is this animosity coming from? Exactly. Right. It doesn't make sense. And it made sense three books ago. Yeah. But it doesn't now. Mm -hmm. And I yeah. think that that pulled me out. I literally was just thinking about that. Yeah. That that was like, oh. I'm tired. Are we really fucking doing yeah, this again? Yeah, it's like when you're sitting in a room with someone and they're being mean to their mother. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you're like, I understand having a hard time with your mother, but also, like, chill. please don't talk to your mother like that in yeah. front of other people. <laughs> right. Yeah, your mom so, might be you at home, but can you does, be nice to your mom right now? <laughs> she does the same thing to Gavin. Is it yeah. Gavin she meets on the rock? Yeah. She does the same thing to him where he's just coming to talk to her. You're probably never going to meet this person again. Literally just shut up for 15 fucking minutes so he yeah. can talk. Mm -hmm. Like she's respect just, your ancestors. And she's just like, blah, blah, blah. Are you going to be just like Elena and not going to tell me anything? Shut and you're just up. like, yeah. stop talking so the man can talk. Yeah. Like, and yeah. I just don't know what the purpose I'm, of that is. I can't think of a long-term way that's resolved later on. Yeah, I, I just think it's a poor uh, – it's not a uh, – Sarah is wonderful, but I think she could have done that part better. Yeah. She could have shown some character growth by allowing Aelin to be a little bit more respectful of her ancestors instead of back to – I'm a 17-year-old spoiled Salada brat. Right. Yeah. Like, even when she finds out that Elena saved her life, she's like, well, she shouldn't have done what she did in the first place, because then she wouldn't have had to do all that. Yeah, she... The <laughs> thing is that like, she never um, does... Yeah. She's got <laughs> way too much shit. Aries and Taurus combo. It's mm -hmm. like the stubborn fireness where mm -hmm. she's like, she can't... It's like she's not self-reflective enough to... It's like hypo hypocrisy. It's mm -hmm. hypocrisy. Constant yeah. hypocrisy. And like, okay. And super self-righteous. Yeah, a lot of times. And only with, it's the, it's the youth. It's like yeah. the, mm -hmm. the, the lack of experience but having to do really hard things. Mm -hmm. Because she doesn't have the like wisdom to understand, oh, I could make a mistake. Yeah. The humility. Oh, I could yeah. do everything and I could fail. Yeah. And she just doesn't have that. And it. Yeah, at this point in her story, you know, you expect for some of that to have shown up. Right. I do like it when every time they're having like a planning meeting and she has like very definitive opinions and she will brook no like no discussion. They're like, oh, did you find this out in your your years of being a military general? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Did you, Aelin? Because everyone at this table it's has just, has had to plan this stuff before, and right. you are nineteen, and you have not. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and she is shouldering a huge burden. She is kind of this chosen one figure. She's got all this power. Yeah, but she still has this kind of self righteous Ratchet. Ratchet. Hey, girl. Self, self righteous. Self righteous. Yes. Self righteous yes. attitude. Like when she calls yeah. the Volg to Skull's Bay without telling. 
anybody that's oh, and what, what she's going and to what, be doing. And what happens? She almost gets everybody killed. Everybody because only almost Only Lysandra dies. knows. Every magic... Yep. We have established a magic universe where people cannot on the fly access the entirety of their magic. They need days to prepare. And mm-hmm. you didn't tell anybody. And you didn't fucking tell anybody. Right. That you, that you might you do wrote, that. You wrote five letters eight months ago, but forgot to tell everybody that you were going to call in the Dark Army. Yeah. You were going to lure the Dark Army. But, yeah. I mean, I think it's really cool. I, I like this, the strategy part. I like that she makes these decisions off page that, like, show up and you're like, but the hero of this book is Lysandra. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. I mean, her being this incredible, like, water dragon for think about chapters and yes. chapters. Yes. Think and about chapters. a girl that's been beaten down her entire life, oppressed, abused, you know, and then all of a sudden she Sexually gets, assaulted. Yeah. yeah. And all of a sudden she has, like, this power. Like, incredible power. Of course she's going to be a, a sea dragon. Yeah. Of course yeah. she's going to be something with sharp claws. And, and- we don't really get a, a great explanation on how Lysandra's power works as opposed to Aelin and Rowan's. Like, we know it has its limits, but how does she deepen it? And, like, is it just practice? Is it just, like, a muscle? Because it feels like her being that jade dragon for almost, for, like, hours. Yeah. I mean, she, like, it's incredible There's what she There's a lot of mystery surrounding the shapeshifter's it, gift. Right. And that is explored more in Kingdom of Ash. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. Okay. But... I mean, it's never, like, fully explained. There is it's just a lot of mystery about it. Mm. Yeah. Which is okay. I like shape. I like Lysandra's. I like the shapeshifter. Yeah. It's cool. I like that she can become anything, and then she can change it. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. And it, But it takes the power to change it. Yeah. Yep. I like that she can be people. Yeah. She said she tried to be wind. I was like. Smart. I, way to way to really stretch yeah, your boundaries. Yeah. Rachel's. Oh. I was like, Rachel's gonna like that. <laughs> I, I like the like, part where she made her boobs smaller because yes. I can exactly. relate to that one hundred percent. She was like, "How do you try having them?" <laughs> like, yeah, like style I these babies huge. down. Yeah. Like, goes from a double D to like a comfortable low C or something oh, or B. Yeah. Or... Can you imagine the relief? <laughs> yeah, yeah, maybe. I mean, no, I don't know. I can't. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, they're not, yeah. Um, next. Yeah. This. I think, which is why I think it's good Aelin's not in it. It's not a, her entire book. Yeah. Because it, every time Aelin's in it, it's very like, we're back to the like, oh, Aelin, we love Aelin. Aelin is the best. Like, that's how it felt every well, time Well, except was in for it. when, you know, she's meeting with her countrymen and they're like, we're not giving you the crown. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, which is fair. Entirely fair. Yeah. I mean, of course, she loves to do this. She did the same thing in A Court of Thorns and Roses when we go to the, like, High Lord meeting, and they're all like, oh, so now there's a High Lady. Like, that's not a thing. We're not recognizing that. Mm-hmm. Sarah J. Mass loves the, like, underdog female queen. Oh, but they queen. did mm-hmm. recognize the High Lady. Eventually. Well, as soon as she had the high ta- the tattoo, they were like, well. There it is, but they were like, they would never have done it themselves. But it was, yeah. Right? They would never have made. They weren't going to be the first person to do right. that. Yeah. But yeah, and the Daro guy. Wait, did we talk about that before, or did you and I just talk about? I that? think we just talked about it. Oh, okay. Yeah, because I don't remember. I was like, talking I about remember that. talking yeah, about that. Because he's you. like, you have been because he says doing everything. What you want. He goes, I was like, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I was like, oh, Rachel's gonna love this shit. <laughs> he straight up tells her. Everything that she feels about Aelin, like this entitlement to a queendom, this yeah. like, you know, and it's not. There are there are politics here. She doesn't yeah. get to just go home and take over. Right. People aren't all like, oh, Aelin, Ash River Galathinius, welcome home. Take the crown, 19-year-old lady. Yeah. Well, and that's what I was expecting. I remember reading it through the first time and – you know, you just think she returns to Terrison. There's going to be people throwing like, flowers, like Aslan coming home. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then it was like just she's like, a okay, deity or no, like that's reality is yeah. not that. In the yeah, um, the sex scene between Rowan. I know. I'm just going back. 
I have. It's just not. I think that's why. Honestly, y'all, they ain't. They ain't Cassian and Nesta. I don't. No. There's. Mm-mm, they don't no. have. I. I love. Do. Does the word make it brought up in this book? Not mm-hmm. really. Does it? No, I don't think no. it does. At the end. Do we find out? When Maeve finally Maeve shows up and Maeve is like, let me lay Aelin. out my okay, entire so evil plan. Aelin Are you just ready to take some fucking notes? She's yeah. just like, here yeah. you go. Maeve does. I'm going to talk yes. for one hour about yeah, everything I've ever thought. On the beach with her like, flowing long black dress. She's yeah. like, everyone get out a piece of paper because I'm about to tell y'all what I just did. For <laughs> oh, the- you think your oh, strategy? Yeah. I just oh. prepared a presentation. <laughs> yes. Okay. Can somebody bring my uh, Google Slides Lights, in please? here? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Somebody get out my PowerPoint. She's like, I'm. <laughs> and 500 years ago, I did this. Yes. yes. I've been here for 70,000 years. <laughs> um, Cadre, prepare the power slide. No, wait, what are the, the, the power, wait, no, what are the old school things? The old things called with the oh, vis-a-vis. The, oh, the overhead protector yeah. things? Prepare oh, the overhead protector. <laughs> Bring my transparency and my vis-a-vis. <laughs> Oh right? man, I know. nostalgia. She's got. Here's a vis a vis. Oh man, I would just <laughs> love to write on a transparency and then wipe it right off now. And, and get your hand messed up. Oh yeah. <laughs> For those of you that are young, that is what you used to write on in school. Yeah. The transparency that. Google it. Google it. Google it. It'll be something weird you've never seen before, <laughs> like a rotary phone. So, okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, she tells her that she is actually Rowan's mate. Okay, but she doesn't tell Rowan. She doesn't tell Rowan because no. Rowan's not there. So, ha- okay. but then, but then, uh, uh they tell Rowan when he gets there, yeah, right? Because Manon is there. Yeah, so Manon and so a leader so are there. So let's walk through this. I'm going to ask some questions because I didn't, didn't get to reread the okay. last part. It's okay. So, um. So they go to the marshlands. They find the key. Yeah. Elite and Lorcan show up. And is that when the armies converge? Yeah, that's when Maeve shows up. Okay, and so Maeve shows up on her armada at right. the beach. Mm-hmm. And the marshland is close enough to the beach where that's where they are? Or do Let's they have go to with kind that. Of that's where I imagine it in my yeah. head. Okay, so the beach town. Mm-hmm. And so then where is Rowan? Rowan's on the ship fighting. So he's Flying around, hawking it up. He's yeah. hawking it boat, up, boat to boat, killing, killing mm-hmm. people. Right, mm-hmm. and so it's Manon, a lead, a lead, Lorkin, Lorkin, Aelin, Fenris, Fenris, and Maeve, and the other guy, Who's Gavriel, the, Gavriel, Gavriel, Adian's dad. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay, Kitty Cat, yep. and our new villain. Dang it, what's it? Arwen. Oh no, Kane or not Kane, Kane but. Um, um, Corso. Damn it. Oh, God. I remember. Wait that. a minute. Uh, Connell? No, that's. I think it is Kane. Kane? It's not Kane because he's from the first book. He's the bad guy from the first book. Wait, it's the one that's Maeve's person, right? Yeah, he's the new member of the cadre and everyone hates him. The cadre all hate him because he's a sadist. He likes to hurt people. He loves it. Yeah. His favorite thing. Is to cause other people pain. He's like a torture specialist. I'm a torturer. To, to, torturer. Did y'all watch Lost? No. Nope. Yes. Yeah. Remember Saeed was a torturer? <laughs> <laughs> That's what that word reminds me of. Saeed. Saeed. He's so fine. I forgot about the love of my life. Yeah, Saeed. You forgot about the love of your Damn life. Damn it. I forgot about the cairn. love of- Cairn. Cairn. Because I remember thinking- Like a cairn. Um, That's cairn- a tomb. A cairn a is cairn like a type a tomb. of tomb. Ooh, Ooh nice wordplay, Janet. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but <Ba-dum-tsh. laughs> yeah. Um, so okay, so they all in that there, and then Maeve starts monologuing with her vis a vis and her projector. Yes, yes. she gets the projector. So out. does she tell yep. everybody that and she's got Aelin like in chains? And so how does she capture Aelin? Um, they fight, but Aelin's power is so depleted from the battle they just had from killing 500 ilgen <laughs> <laughs> yeah and the lead's like it's because it's because aelin would have beaten her if she didn't do that first i'm like yeah that's why Maeve did that she was like i'm gonna soften you up uh-huh. yeah i'm gonna wear your ass down then i'm gonna come so and be like they're like in a magic battle and it's pretty cool 
Yeah, Maeve's really powerful. Though. She's very yeah. powerful. She's like blasting her with her darkness. But not as powerful as the grandchild of Mala Firebringer. <laughs> <laughs> and Brennan. And Brennan. And the other guy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the guy that Brennan. she loved so much. She became human. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so she gets like in chains and she's like, Well, now that I've got iron you, chains. Yes, iron chains. Which, and Manon is just standing there and she's like, Are you gonna are you gonna help her? And Manon's like, No, I'm good. She's like, I'm just gonna she's stand really And Maeve is like, I don't have a fight with you, Black Beak. And she's like, All right. She's like, Cool, cool. Yeah, I'm fine. She's like, No, yeah. no, go ahead, I'm she's, listening. But <laughs> she's overwhelmed. No, it's Wait. because she's got the keys. She's got the word keys in her pocket. Because yeah. oh, Aelin so Aelin drops Aelin dropped them, in, them there. in there. And so Manon is, there's a strategy. See, I yeah. like that. I know it's fine. It's whatever. No, that part was fine because it's, it wasn't something that she put it in Manon's so, pocket and didn't tell her so that Manon later put her hand in her pocket and was like, what are these pieces of stone in my wait, pocket? Wait, did that happen? No, it didn't. But I'm glad like, it did. Yeah. I'm glad it didn't. Can you turn me up a little bit? I don't yeah. think I can hear me. Sorry. Thanks, Rach. Producer Rachel, thank you so much. Oh, there I am. There you are. Very loud in are. my ears. Yes. Okay. Um, whoa. Are you too loud? A little. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> thanks, there Mom. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Um, oh, no, it's too much. It's too much. I'm, I'm gonna sorry. Be, I'm going to be back where you were. I don't know what was different. Maybe I just weren't, well, I wasn't. Is that better? I wasn't talking into the it microphone. It was like you're talking millimeter. loud. <laughs> Maybe. Okay. Like, Let me go low. I'm way too low now. How this sounds like? Okay, I turned it. I couldn't. I didn't even. I just touched the. I know. You, <laughs> I know. I saw. I saw this that. is all in That's your head. That's what you do when you manage a restaurant and somebody asks you to change the air. You go, yeah, sure. <laughs> does that feel better? Yeah, it does. Thank you so oh, much. You're, you're welcome. so welcome. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah. Okay. So, Aelin whispers in Manon's ear. No, no. she just puts it in her pocket. Just but like, Manon's boom. with it. And Manon knows because she's not an idiot. So yeah. did Alid tell? So does Lorcan know that Alid had the word key at yes. all? As, yes. How did that happen? That happens when they're in the marsh. Okay. Mm-hmm. Or no, they're on the boat. He's what? finally like, well. When they're escaping. The marsh? After she stops to buy some tampons and she pads. She has to stop and they at get, the grocery store and get pads. And, and they get turned in. And they end up getting on the boat. And she assures the guy's who drives the boat the, the like, little boat fisherman guy. man yeah she's like no you're gonna be fine you're gonna she's be fine like, i swear to you i give you my word that you, that I you are going you. to survive yeah that you're gonna boyfriend's you're gonna, gonna live kill you? to, yeah yeah and then larkin's like cool I'm, cool I'm and then he just <laughs> <laughs> not like <laughs> kills, he kills the him? guy and then he comes down and he's like covered it he's wet because he was covered in blood and he just like splashed himself and she goes up on the deck and there's a giant like bloody puddle on the deck <laughs> and she's like where did he go she's like you killed him didn't you and larkin's like just like a little <laughs> 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 it's fine it's fine it's he's fine. That part he's really did make me laugh. Like, yeah. He's just a little dead. He's just a little dead. And she's yeah. like, I promised him. I, I promised him. him he wouldn't die. And he's like, you promised him. I didn't say anything. I didn't and he's say like, shit. We are like, not, we are not one. That's on you. No, he was like, he was going to betray you and hurt you. And she's like, um, okay. And that's when they're like, let's sit down and have a, let's put all of our cards on the table. Mm-hmm. Do they discussion. confess their feelings for each other? No, not yet. No, but Lorcan tries to open the necklace, and that's when he comes out and he's like, "I don't have one, but you do, don't you?" And then uh, I think he he realizes that what he has is fake because he has been realizing that the power is there, but he thinks it's inside of her the whole time. Yeah, so he realizes that his orinth medallion is Is fake, fake. and that and that she has to have it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, but then he doesn't take it. And so they're like, why didn't you take it? He's like, it's not mine to take. Because he just, loves her. Because yeah. I love her. He wants to marry her. Because yeah. she's so little and tiny and nice. With huge boobs. And he's seven feet tall with yes. a giant dick. I know. I love how every time you can see her boobs, we have to talk about it. Yes. And about how men look at her and he doesn't like it. But then he literally gets shirtless and oils up. 
to do greases like, himself up. greases that's himself how you have to fight for a can, sword thing. Mm-hmm. That's so no one can no touch one can you. grab you. No, yeah. but that's just You're for slippery. the stage. He does that for the stage for his like sword th- fighting thing, sword throwing. Yeah, he because knows what they, he's doing. They're getting they're at oh, the players. Knows. Those knows. women were throwing dollar bills up there. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Papa Lock. Those village wenches he's, were going wild yeah, over Lorcan. Like the daddy of the book is definitely <laughs> Lorcan. For sure, yeah. he is a daddy. Yeah. He's a super daddy. <laughs> he's fine. If you look at any of the, he is. I'm sorry. Yeah. I, like I mean, Lorcan. I think Lorcan's fine. the most handsome man in these books, just like I think Cassian is the most handsome man in the other books. That's interesting because they're opposites. So I was at a ball game last weekend. Like personality wise? Mm-hmm. And I saw Resand. I'm sorry? <laughs> you heard me. I didn't, though. Can you repeat yourself? I was at a ball game Did you last walk up weekend. To him and go. This is why you carry handcuffs. Yo, what's Reese's last name? Reese. And. and <laughs> <laughs> the most handsome they, high lord. Wait, do they have <laughs> surnames? Night Court. No. Lucian has one. Yeah, he does. I know. It's something weird. I can't remember. Recent. Recent. Night King. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, back to the ball game. Well, anyways, I saw like this man and he had black hair and he was stunning and he was sitting like kind of diagonal and me my sister sitting next to me and we both like see him at the same time and she's like that's an older resand and i was like oh my god like it did you is. tell him i would have told him was he there with somebody sir, or was he alone sir. no he was like a scout sir mm. sir sir he was one of those have dudes you, with the little laptops, like uh, sitting, writing. Have you ever heard the word resand? Yeah, again, and this he'll is be why like, you carry handcuffs. Yes. Yeah, Has anyone ever told you? No, who? have you ever heard the word resand? And he'd be like, what? And he'd be like, has anyone ever told you you look like resand? And he'd be like, no. He'd be like, look that shit up. And then walk away. <laughs> That's how I'd do it. <laughs> <laughs> Not giving your phone I'm number. So or upset you snapped. weren't there then. <laughs> yeah, I would have been like. Okay, and then I'd walk up. away, just leave, and then leave. Drop, yeah, drop it. You'd have and, to leave after that. Then, like you'd have okay. to leave the premises. I'm not weird. I promise. Yeah. <laughs> like get in your car and drive away. <laughs> like, run there first. <clears throat> I don't know how we got lo- there. I'm but... going to start looking for them in real life too. If you find a six foot seven tall, six foot seven oh, dude, a Lorkin, yeah, Lorkin, oh. ble- do inform all of us. Yeah. Fucking Larkin. <laughs> that was involuntary. Well, well, I have never made that sound before in my we life. Got and we anyway. got it recorded too. Like, I'm like, so oh. glad that's recorded. I've never done that before. <laughs> I wonder how that would be hmm. described in a book. Because I always said, y'all know what I've started doing? Okay, just because it reminds me of this. <clears throat> you know how she always says they make a they turn their head as if they were an animal, like they weren't human. And Nesta does it all the time. Mm-hmm. I do that when I'm mad now. I go. <laughs> nice. Like an animal. Yeah. The I little, go, like, look, like feline-like. Like, like, feline-like, yeah, where you're like a, a hunter or a prey. I turn my head like a, mm-hmm. oh, really? Yeah. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> but like what noise? How would she, or like what's teeth sucking sound like? Is that, is that what it is? Because Ava yeah. does it all the they time. They do it all the time. And I think it's like, or tongue clicking. Is oh, that... they always click their tongue. And she also goes, ach. She does like the O-C-H, ach. Is that like, what like that is? I'm Ugh. sorry, what? Yeah. But I think it's, it's like, oh. But what is, is teeth clicking or teeth sucking? Teeth sucking is. Like a tisk sound. Uh... But she does okay. click her tongue a lot. Uh, what like... I just did. I don't know. And that was like that's a, like, a, it was like a bray. You couldn't no. It's, you brayed was like very, a horse. Is braying a word? Yeah, braying is a word. If that's the sound horses make, right? Like, mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, that's what it was like. It was, but more guttural, but more, and, and more airy. Yeah, like that's actually can, how just, Lorcan makes Lorcan you feel. Lorcan put you in touch with wow. a part of yourself. If Lorcan sends you tall, how big is his penis? It's got to be at least a good it's gotta nine be, ten inches. I mean, anything over like seven is just greedy. Yeah, because uh, you're. I really hope that it's so too much, much stretch. Fits. I don't, I don't want it stretch. to be more than ten. I know. In my mind, I don't want it to be more than ten because that's kind of scary. So I learned. Yeah. I didn't like, know like not in a good way. I didn't know this. <laughs> I didn't know this, but 
and you might have, and forgive me, <laughs> you can orgasm if a dick hits the back of your her- cervix. For some people, yes. What the fuck? That's wild. No wonder these fey bitches are having <laughs> orgasm after orgasm. If it touches bottom, you can... For some it, people, it's female. unpleasant. For some people, it's... it's yeah. yeah, you can yeah. actually And the have cervix an is not that far away. Yeah, no, I always wonder you if think. you're shorter, is your cervix shorter? It's... The, it's this. Like, do this with your hand. That's, like... The length of your pinky? Can you take or, a picture of this like and put it on the, the gram, please? It, the, the hang length 10 symbol? From your pinky. <laughs> the hang yeah, 10. do the hang 10. This is yeah. how long my cervix is? No, that's how long your vagina is. Okay. So, from the opening to the cervix. Rachel. My mom, I'm sorry. Becky. We're, mom, we're talking about cervixes right now. We're talking about Kate's vagina. Yeah, so just so because I'm smaller, mine is smaller. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I thought, I thought so. Like, look, see? Being short's a superpower. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I got me a smaller vagina. Yeah. So if you're a tall woman, you- vagina. Yeah. <laughs> Technically, the whole outside area is your vulva. Vulva, yeah. Yes. So vagina. we should really I've been trying call to use it the, the vulva. Word, I've been trying to use the word vulva more. Oh, yeah. But I'm talking about vagina. Yeah, vagina I'm is about the vaginal canal. canal. I'm yes. trying yeah. to never use the word vulva again. You need to normalize the word I know. vulva because I know. It's a we problem. are using the wrong it's words to describe it. It's a personal parts. problem. And yeah. you know what that leads to? What? Men taking their girlfriends to the doctor because they think they have a growth. And that growth is a clitoris. <laughs> what? <laughs> that happened. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. So yeah. we have got to start normalizing women's body parts. Yes. Using this? the real world. The yeah. real, real world. The vulva. Yes. And lots so of different. So not a flower. So... <laughs> no. Nope. Vulvas are so no secret fascinating. Garden. They look so different. Everyone's is different. It's so yeah. different. You have external ones, internal ones, big labia, little labia. <clears throat> I follow a bunch of Instagram accounts that are different vulvas because I'm fascinated by it. We don't. I don't get to see vulvas. Right. Yeah, we don't look fine. at each other's it, vulvas. Right. So we don't it's not realize, like guys, like they know I mean, what I've they all look like. I've seen hundreds of penises. Hundreds. I'm hundreds. I'm just kidding. Like 20, maybe. 20. <laughs> somewhere else. Maybe like 60 is fine. <laughs> <laughs> no shame here. <laughs> it's perfectly fine. I am an empowered woman and I love a being D. Um, but yeah, so anyways. Okay. So. Vulva tangent aside. Yeah. I just feel like at a certain point. I don't know why romance writers feel compelled to make it so giant that they have to like adjust. Cause Aelin had to do that. Like when Rowan, when they finally got together, he had to like wait for her to adjust. The, the word, if Lysandra was the hero of the story, the word of the book is undulate. Because mm. there was a lot of undulating. Yeah. Constantly. Mm-hmm. I, they were undulating. I was undulating. I don't even know what undulating means. Rachel? I thought I did until you said it that many times. Undulating and now undulating or ungulating? Undulating is Dude. the word. Undulating is just like to. Is it with a G? I don't know. Am it's, I just saying no? It wrong? It's it's not with a G. Oh, I, I do have think another mispronunciation that I want to really talk about. All right. <sighs> <laughs> like worse than recent. Yes, okay. this is really, really, it really hurts me. So I just read the book. Um, for fourth night, for fourth wing, great book. Read it, it for yourself. I don't know if we'll ever read it. When time. will I ever have time? Never. But it's and awesome. Ungulate is a type of book. Ungulate. And I mean a type of, um, a type of animal. Why did I lose the word animal? Okay, it's a so type of animal. What does it mean when you undulate? To undulate get... is to like move up and down. Like yeah, ripple. yeah. Undulate. Yeah. Yes. Is that with a G? No, it's with no. a D. Okay, duh, so duh, I'm duh. saying it correctly. Undulate. Mm-hmm. Okay. Another word. Wyvern. The narrator who I love. Do I mean Wyvern? Yeah. It is actually Wyvern. (gasps) She pronounces pronounces it the wrong way the whole time. So I see this Dungeons and Dragon guy on TikTok saying Wyvern, and my smart ass was like, "Bitch, that's not how you say that." I listened. It's with... I listened to six books. I don't like where that. they say Wyvern. I don't like Wyvern. I don't either. Abraxas is doesn't a... sound but nice, but it is Wyvern because then I looked up the pronunciation, and it is in fact Wyvern. Damn it! I know. I listen. Call him Wyvern in that world. It's fine. I know, but. 
I just... It's our own world. It's our own mass verse. But that's like saying that it's okay to say reason. Thank you for that silence. (laughs) (laughs) Anyways, Mm. I just thought it was funny because this narrator does say Wyvern the entire series. And it Mm -hmm. is, in fact, Wyvern. All right. Well... But that's okay. I'm always... Braxis is a Wyvern. Mm-hmm. I kind of wish I had named Henry Abraxas, and I would have called him Brax. Brax. <laughs> <That's so cute. laughs> um, I love that. Yeah. Yeah, I like how he goes and finds all the others. He's She's so like, smart. you gotta go, you gotta go, and just go, I don't know, eat animals or whatever. Take your time. I'm gonna go do a dangerous mm-hmm. thing. And Abraxas Wait, is does like... does that happen? Yeah, he's like, I think <clears> I'm gonna <throat> go find all of your friends and bring them here. So she sends him off. Okay, tell me about that. Cause... She's like, you gotta go for like four days. Yeah, Because cause... they're going into the marshlands. And she doesn't want him to be... And they can't be... bring him. He'll draw too much attention and it's dangerous. So she both. tells him, hey, go away, but find me again? Or does she send mm-hmm. him away? And she we... sends him away. She says for like four days. Yeah. She's like, go for like four days and then come back. And when they come back, it's been longer and so he's is not back. So the way Manon's story ends in this is the 13 show up? Yeah. Oh, I love that so much. I, I can't wait. To and a lead like runs into them. Like, I love that. They just like. Yeah. Because oh, okay, that's when she gets mad that. at Lorcan. Because she's like, fuck you, Lorcan. And she just runs off. She's yeah, like, I so, got my girlfriends now. Yeah. Don't, okay, Lorcan. He. Okay, a lead sees Lorcan with. Maeve. Yeah. And that's got to be rough, right? This is the woman that's basically got your man's balls clenched in her hand. Yeah, she says yeah. jump and he says yeah. how high. Yeah. So she, he's, you know, fighting that and then she breaks the blood oath with him, which Does is that more slitting him? of the hand. Does that hurt him? Yeah, I think it's like more of an emotional pain, though, like yeah. a... Well, physiologically, it's like he they just like crumble. Like, like it's, a severing. It's like yeah, a like severing an of yeah. 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 Of yeah, something he's felt for. She breaks mm-hmm. years. Gabriel's and she breaks his. Okay. With no like, honor. They get a dishonorable discharge. Ooh, yeah. That's tough. Mm-hmm. That's but, tough. But they're discharged. But yeah. they are so, discharged. Let's scoot back in the book. Sorry, I didn't mean to jump. No, it's fine. Let's go back in the book and talk about when Manon kills her grandmother or fights her grandmother. Fights her grandmother, yes. And we um, find out she's Crocken. Yeah, that yeah. she's a Crocken. And that she was born of love. Yeah. That thing that has been, she thinks she doesn't understand, but we're all like, Manon, you love like everything, bro. You, yeah. You love, love everything. Look at what your dragon's doing. Your sorry, wyvern, wyvern. Your wyvern is over there smelling flowers. Yeah, like he's a soulmate to you. Mm-hmm. Your other half, the part of your soul. Look how sweet and cuddly he is. Mm-hmm. Like my little dog. Mm-hmm. Look at your thirteen. You know, like how much how much they, you love them. Yeah. yeah. And then yeah, and then for her to j- for the way that that scene plays out, where she just like you think that this is about to happen, and then all of a sudden she turns around. And like, the did whole she cut t- somebody's hat off? No, she was she supposed just... to be cutting off but Astrid's. She had, but Astrid's she attacks head. her grandmother. And she, yeah. and she said, slices her grandmother down the yeah. chest. And, her, yeah. and then just when she realizes. Then they get the nails out. Yeah. yeah. And that's when she re- she realizes that g has never really shown how well it, good at fighting she is. Yeah. Right. And also, g um, something else scary about g She's just scary. Yeah. yeah. She bad bitch. I really forgot my I didn't really thought. I thought it was really cool. I hadn't realized it. I had I didn't catch it in my first read that the three different covens um represent physically the three different mm-hmm. uh, versions of the mother. Yeah. The crone. Which the where does that mythology goddess. come from? Because that's everywhere. It's just like a like a is it like a myth thing or is was there actually like a deity that is the mother or like the three the maiden, it's just maiden like an mother archetype. Mother, yeah, it's, just like an, it's a story archetype, yeah. <clears throat> okay. I was curious about that because sh- it shows up a lot, and especially in the mass verse, it's always threes. Mm-hmm. Three women. Three, this, Bryce, Aelin, Farah. Father, like, son, Holy Ghost. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Except for, yeah. Um, so I was just curious about that. Mm-hmm. But the blue bloods are the maiden, maiden. and then Manon is the... Mother and mm-hmm. then the blue up, yellow legs are yellow the legs are crone. the crone. So they are the ones that get old, old and ugly, which is why they're the meanest because they're upset about yeah, that. Yeah, they're pissed. <laughs> I don't even care. I would hate to be the yellow legs. I I mean I think 
there's so much beauty in age. So for sure, except for they let their I just think of unless you eat tiny babies. Yeah, I just feel like these ones are not pretty. Yeah, Yeah. and they let their teeth rust, and I hate that. For some reason, that makes me the most ick. Yeah, it's like nails on chalkboard. Mm. Yeah, it's just the taste of like iron in your mouth. Your mouth would constantly taste like blood. Yeah, which is but like like. rusty, dirty blood. Yeah. Tetanus. Your mouth smells like tetanus. I did like that Sarah J. Mass included that Manon's blood would taste coppery. Did you notice that? Because her blood is blue and not red. Oh. So it tastes like copper versus like iron. Iron. Mm. Interesting. Cool. I was like, oh, very good. Clever girl. You thought of that. Very good. Very uh, good. You I'm yeah. gonna give you a star. <laughs> Gold star. Uh, I your like homework. It. Yeah. Um yeah. Yeah, it ended on kind of a cliffhanger. Yeah. A very um it's a it was a very Sarah J. Mass ending. Because yeah. you thought it ended, she left, and then all of a sudden these people start like on Wait, the dawn does... of the third day, look to the horizon. <laughs> like, they all start coming up over Where the... Where was that from? From Lord of the Rings. Lord of yeah, the Rings? I know. Yeah. I'm joking. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm just... just yeah. Because all of a sudden, like, even the silent assassins Yeah, show they up. show up. Literally everybody shows up Briar on the Briarcliff shows up. What's yeah. our girl? Oh, don't tell me. What's her name? Ansel. 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 Yeah. Ansel shows up. Our boyfriend from the desert shows up. Yep. Um, does Kale show And up? uses his no. disused voice. No. No. At this moment, Kale is... Still down in... No, but, um... What's that? The same... The place that she was supposed to go and assassinate the leader, but never did. Oh, uh... Uh-huh. Her... That's her cousin. Her cuz. Shows up. In, um, like, a longboat. Glenn... Yeah. They're from... It starts with a G. Glenn... Gwendolyn? Gwendolyn. 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 You are trying to put G's in everything. <laughs> I think so. Oh. G. Ar- Argalon. Yeah, they show up in like a Ungulate. Viking boat. <laughs> Ungulate. Giant Viking boats? It's just, it comes around the corner and they're like, we've never seen that kind of boat before. <laughs> <laughs> Where is this boat from? Where is this boat from? And, yeah. yeah. He's like, cousin, I'm really sorry I didn't come for you 10 years ago. <laughs> Sorry. I yeah, love the that different was accents. Yeah, that's how they do it. That's yeah. really good. I'm going to be a narrator, except for I will pronounce words correctly, instead of leading people astray for books on books on it. Right. <laughs> Wyvern. Hurts my heart. Yep. And they're all um, like, Aelin knew she was gonna die. She knew all along. She's always been reckless with her life, because she's yeah. reckless, reckless all the time. It was kind of a Harry Potter moment, like, you know, she found out the seventh horcrux is inside her. Yeah. Gonna have to die. Yeah, because we finally, we it's not the key really that they like that find, it, they just find Thanks. the mirror. And then Dorian's like, mm-hmm. I kind of think you guys need to touch the mirror right now on the eve of this battle. So can we do that I just right have a feeling. Now? And so he takes them down there. And I love this part because they touch the mirror and they disappear. And then Adian pops up from behind a box. She literally describes it as him having popped up from behind a box. And he's like, what just happened? And then he beats Nothing. up Dorian off page because we come up and Dorian has like a big black eye. And Adian's like, asshole over there <laughs> sent Adian and sent Aelin and Manon off to who fucking knows where. And yeah, Aiden. luckily I was taking a shit downstairs in the, <laughs> behind this box, and I popped up at just the right just moment to be down just there, lurking in the cargo hold for literally no reason. Oh, and that's, that's when awesome. we get the like sense around version of what happened, where we find out like. Why yeah. Elena, what happened with Elena, what happened with Erewhon last time. Right. And the fact that Brandon could have just told his daughter what was going on and everything would have been fine and none of this would have happened. But it was a lack of communication that once again ruined everything. <laughs> yes. Yep. Lack yeah. of communication. Would just learn to communicate. For years and years and years, he didn't tell her. He had the lock and didn't tell her. Yep. And so she was like, well, if he's not going to use the lock, I'm going to use the lock. Yep. It's a, I think the part where, this is me kind of bouncing again, but 
when, first of all, I don't really like the pirates. The pirate part was still really hard to read for me. I had to like, yeah. I have to. Arrgh. Yeah, Ralph, I just like, I'm like, pirates? I don't know why. <laughs> I can't keep, I can't pay attention to fucking pirates. Um, fucking pirates. Yeah, but um, the part where Deanna comes and takes over her body. She yeah. like yes. brings in and the goddess and we get the first glimpse of these um apathetic god creatures, mm-hmm. deities. Yeah. And we get a look at that there isn't really a she's not good or bad. She's just powerful. Like yeah. Yeah. And she doesn't really care. And that they're from another world. And that they're and from they got trapped world. here. Yeah. Yeah. And so we get that glimpse. And I think that that pulls, I mean, that kind of opens up. That's, I think, the first time in her books where we get this, like, higher gl- glimpse of these different type of beings. Mm-hmm. Which Except for, um, who is it in A Court of Thorns and Roses? Their friend that's trapped in a body. Oh, yeah. Amarin. 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 Who, and Amarin was described as basically an archangel. Yeah. So that is really important in understanding those little things once yeah. we get to Crescent City, which I need to tell you something at dinner about that, that okay. I saw um, that messed with my mind. Um, but, yeah, I thought that was a really interesting move because it's such a, like... What? Now we're like portaling in deities. Yeah, because where's Aelin, that gonna go? Aelin uses the lock and then they all show up and they're like, What the shit? That's not what that was for. So the She's lock like, she uses the lock whoopsies. in this book? Yeah, at Aelin, the end? Aelin tells her, her how she used the lock the first time. Okay. Because her mother, Mala, gave up her life to make the lock. Yeah. And then Brandon was just like, I'm going to keep it. Because don't they anybody. have to make another lock? Isn't that the goal? Or or recharge it or something. Or recharge it. Yeah. Yeah. Probably so remake it because run... at some point it got mangled. I literally don't remember when it ever And got it mangled. gets confusing. I always get it gets confused. Very confusing. I'm like, what is happening? So when she goes in the mirror, she sees other gods. She sees she what sees happened. She sees the past. So she oh. sees like Elena she, locking Erewhon in the coffin. Like sure. she's watching a movie. And they're like, literally, like sees books in her head. that was for sending us all home, and you used the one use it had. So the gods are mad at her. Yeah. To just lock this dude in a box? We were going to take him back with us to our realm where he had no power, and we were just going to kill him for you. Mm-hmm. Like, that was And you what, ruined it. And you fucking ruined it. Yeah. And now you're going to pay for all of eternity. Yeah, so, and your and ancestor, your bloodline's got to yeah, fix it, and your bloodline's gonna hate you because she's kind of a bitch, and like just it. Yeah. That's so, cool. so do you think that Aelin's, um constant visceral meanness towards Elena is actually just the blood right? No, okay. no, I don't. <laughs> No. Even just though, to, just although to be, Elena just to give does, her a little grace. Elena is I like, that. Yeah. yeah, Elena is like, yeah, yeah, my, 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 whatever, my grandkid, grandkid, or whatever can give her life for this. It's fine. And Selena's like, or Aelin is like, oh, um, you just gave me up like that, and she's like, well, I didn't know you. I didn't know who you, you were. Weren't born yet. You weren't born yet. It was a hope towards a better day versus. Let's deal with it right now. Yeah. She didn't really have any other choice. If her fucking dad had communicated, yeah. mm-hmm. we wouldn't have been in that issue. They wouldn't have been in that. Aurelia right. wouldn't have been. And we don't know what he was waiting for. Yeah. I really want to know, and this is spoiler warning for all the mass verse, because we're not doing a super talk, are Mm-mm. we? Um, do we think the Volgs are princes of hell? Probably. Yeah. Right? Erwin sounds a lot like Adis. Like the Adis isn't a prince of hell mm-hmm. from another from another book. I think we're gonna learn that the Volg end up being they are from They're the ultimate bad guy. Yeah, and that they're from hell. But I think hell is just another place. Yeah. And there's some talk and thought about um Illyrians. Also being of hell, from hell, because they're so different, because they got bat wings, demon wings, Mm. and not angel wings. Curious, just thinking, like, I think Mm -hmm. that might happen. Also, (laughs) for (laughs) if Aelin ever does show up in any of these other books, I hope she's like 300 years old. 
Yes. Yes. <laughs> I really do. Because maybe yeah. she'll be like someone that Rachel could be friends with. A little with. bit yes. more settled. Yeah. 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 Just a little. Yeah. Yeah. With like tons of kids and mm-hmm. shit. Because at this point, I can't see her compromising with anybody. Like, right. That's why like I'm hoping forming she's a like group and like a co op 200, group. 300 years old. Because it's just going to be Aelin and Feyre. But you and let her. Just all having all their own plans and literally just getting together and being like, no, I haven't done anything I mean, yet. If Have you... you done anything yet? Absolutely not. I just leave every night and <laughs> yeah. I go sit on the porch and I watch the stars rise. There's, there's yeah. this one, there's this one lady on TikTok. She's so funny. She does all these different characters. She was like, she does like, She'll be like, who's the baddest bitch? And it's like, she starts off as Nesta, and it's like Nesta talking to Amran. And then they're like, yeah, it's you, and yeah, it's you. And then it's like, Aelin comes in, and like, yeah, it's you. And then like, Manon comes in, and she goes, and they're all like, oh, yeah, it's definitely Manon. <laughs> it's definitely Manon. Oh, for sure. Yeah. 100% for sure. Manon's the baddest yeah. bitch. I did like she's Manon's line when she's talking to, to Dorian, and she's like, you don't get to do that to me again unless you want to find out all the parts of me that are made of iron. Mm. It's and her he's mess. like, <laughs> <laughs> he likes I it. I love it. Let me get my demon arms, <laughs> my, my powerful black shadow my hands. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, that got me. <laughs> um, but they, um, anyways, ghost arms. They're always forgetting their names during sex. Always. Because like, I didn't know who I was. I didn't know what my name was. I was but I remembered his <laughs> name because I could scream it. <laughs> and I was like, and they get like, really good. And they, <laughs> I knew his name, but not my own. Yeah. <laughs> well, they say that okay. when you're having an orgasm, you can't feel anything, which is why it can be so cathartic because you cannot feel anything, but the it overtakes you. So I imagine that that is how Sarah J. Mass. I don't know. I'm a virgin. <laughs> okay. Your child's an immaculate conception. <laughs> yes. Immac- yes. Immaculate Got we it. can see. Yes. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> uh, no, I thought of something else and I can't remember. Sorry, I interrupted you with orgasms. That's okay. Even Always. Manon. That's even fine. Manon is like, I didn't remember my own name. I didn't remember anything that was happening. I'm so yeah. glad that Dorian tore her up. Me too. She deserved that shit. She needed that. Yeah. She deserved it. She deserves Dorian. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't think Dorian deserves her, but I think she, that's how much I like Manon. Wow. Yeah. It does I, not feel as, like, I'm excited for Olid and Lorcan. Like, mm. I'm I'm ready for that pairing. Yeah. And mm. Rowan and Aelin, to me, kind of felt like when Feyre and Rasan finally got and together. And like, you were just like, oh, God, can we stop? Can you stop doing blowjobs by the war tent? <laughs> Please. No more blowjobs in the war tent. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> It, it was fine when they first got together, but like once they're married and we're settled, it just feels voyeuristic. Like I don't want to be wanna watching see that the shit intimacy. anymore. It, it becomes gross. It's it's not gross. That's the wrong word. It just becomes like I don't need to see your cute little love. Yeah, and that's mm-hmm. how Rowan and Aelin, Aelin get felt really quick, really quickly. Yeah. And then, but Dorian and Manon, I I did not see that. I mean, I saw it coming because I see where we were going. But I wasn't like, oh, I want them to get together. I'm just like. And their sex gets better. Seriously? Dude, that is the. They are. They get. They, yeah. They are the Cassian and Nesta of this series. The Mm -hmm. passionate couple. Yeah. They're the ones that are up to no, like, Mm -hmm. all kinks ago. Yeah. Yeah. You know? (laughs) All kinks ago. Yeah. (laughs) Right? Like, they're both. I think because of their fucked up dark backgrounds. I mean, she is Vogue. Yeah. And he was Vogue. Mm-hmm. I think that that darkness in them, their kinks show up the same way. And I love that is a magical thing when two people who love being like. When your kinks align. When your kinks yeah. align. That is really beautiful. I mean, there are literal books. I'm going to stitch Esther that on a Perel pillow. Makes, writes a whole book about. It's called mating in captivity, and it's all about what happens if your kinks don't align and mm. your sex leaves your marriage and how you get that back. And so kinks aligning is a really powerful thing, and mm-hmm. I really love that for them. Love it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you're right. Elite and the Lurkin is a, a slow build. It's a slow burn. Ooh. And then it's like all of a sudden you get. I can't oh. do it again. I, w- I wish I could do make that sound again. Fine. I'll sample it and we can just put it in anytime yeah. we need to. 
Yeah. Seriously. Put can you make button? buttons? Yeah, Is that I what can those make do? buttons. Yeah. Oh, fuck yeah. We're going to do that. Oh, my God. So. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, so that's what those buttons do? Yeah. So you can set are. them? So yeah. we could have um, <laughs> we could have a button that's just like butt stuff. <laughs> butt stuff? We could have butt stuff. Butt my stuff. brain. Well, they'll come up. Well, more will happen organically. But I was always curious how that happens in podcasts, where they like all of a yeah. sudden there's like a like one podcast I listen to the Raven sound every time there's like an email or something. Mm-hmm. Uh, how do you do that? The buttons. Yeah, or you can put it in post, but it's easier to do it right now. Yeah. Yeah. That's what we'll do because that way we can smash it. Yeah. Ooh. Like yeah. <laughs> We'll call it the Lorcan sound. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) So we're going to take a break, a short break after this, Mm -hmm. after, before we move on to the last two books. Right. Right. Because we're going to do some LGBTQIA plus books for June. Yeah. Holla. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. And it'll give us a nice break. Right. So we're going to do the Psalm for the Wild Built and Prayer for the Crown Shy. Okay. Mm -hmm. And they're pretty short. Yeah. Let me look up the author. I'm almost certain it's Becky Chambers, but I just want to are, It's the check. same. Are they sequels? Yes. It's yes. a twosome and the series over. Yeah. Duology. Oh, a duology. I love that. I love a good duology. I I love a good series, too, but Lord, sometimes they can be overwhelming. Yeah. Becky Chambers. Becky Chambers. Yep. And the main character is a monk named Sibling Dex because the main character is non-binary. Okay. So it's an excellent series. I'm really looking forward to doing it. Have you read it? I've read the first one, but I haven't read the second one. Okay. Don't read ahead of us. I won't. Okay. But that's what we need. We will be releasing those in June. Okay. Because we'll be going to a bi-weekly schedule. Mm -hmm. Right. So we'll start. I'll start reading those soon. Tomorrow. Yes. After I finish this one, because I would like to finish it. Yeah. Um, Also, heads up, we are changing formats in a few months. Yes. And also, Akatar news. Akatar 6 comes out in 2025. <gasps> we are, What? Yeah. How did I not know this? But I don't know, but it does. Two more years? One other year and a half? Yeah, but we're getting Crescent City in 2024. Yes. So it won't feel... And they'll probably connect in some way. Because those know. universes converge. Yeah. Shh, spoilers. <laughs> Yeah. It's I'm fine. gonna suck my teeth don't, at you. Don't People listen know to us if you <laughs> have read these. <laughs> <laughs> All right, is it time for chips and dip? It is time for yep. chips and dip. So follow us on the Instagram if you want to keep up with what we will be doing. All the everything will, all the changes, everything will come in July. I think that I'm gonna do a TikTok when we switch formats. That could be fun. I'm gonna make Lahaba's library the official TikTok for. Feast, Sheath, and Shatter. I'm excited. A book chat podcast. So we will talk to you guys all next time. Wait, do they get to hear our (laughs) song next time? No, oh, in July. Not yet. Don't. It's a surprise. I'm teasing it. We're just, we're we're being, it's a slow burn. This is a slow burn. It's a slow burn. And when they hear the song, it's going to be like the first time Elite and Lorcan. And I'll probably put it on the Patreon for people to download if they want to. But they don't. It's off page. Yeah. I'm actually going to read a fanfic about it tonight that I found. <laughs> I'm actually going to write one tonight. So Yeah, good for you. Like, <laughs> wait, one up me. <laughs> no, that's perfect. Let's all write our own yeah. lead. In lo- our, our, next, our next challenge will be to write our own fanfic and then come back. I really, at some point, I'm just going to throw this out there. At some point, I want to read Manicold. Have you all heard of that? No. Okay, it is, I know you don't do Harry Potter, but it is what happens if Voldemort won, and it is about uh, Draco and Hermione, and it is a spicy book, and it kind of is like The Handmaid's Tale, because mm. that's what would have happened if, sorry, if Voldemort had won. Okay. It's a fanfic. It's a fanfic. Yeah. It's a fanfic that is... Book length. And real and people are like obsessed with it. Okay. I know you're not, I don't know. It's fine. I, I have read Harry Potter. Parts of it. Yeah. Yeah. Parts of it. 
Yeah. I just thought it would be cool. I'm just really interesting. And maybe it'll be another one of those books that I, I mean, I'm literally reading like three books a week right now. Yeah. I read the Bond, Ties That Bond series. Bad. Kind of smutty. First reverse harem. Eh. Meh. I got a good reverse harem. We'll read it. Okay. Yeah. Throw that on the Put it on the we'll list. Go, let's go eat some chips and talk about it. All right. <laughs> so until next time, friends. Okay. Bye, guys. Bye. It, was, it was great to see you. <laughs> is it hot in here or is it just me? Tuning in to hear these three chatting about fantasy novels of the spicy variety. Not your average book club if you know what